This is a 3D Studio Max tutorial for um, lighting a basic room. Now, you, I have a room available online that you can download and um, you can light it up. This is sort of a standard procedure for any room, I think. Um, it works no matter what you're doing. Um, remember, as soon as you turn one light on in Max, that it all of a sudden turns off the default lights. So this is sort of what we're starting with, and it doesn't look very good at all. But I've got my basic geometry there, and everything is good. I'm just going to switch out to a top viewport for a moment. First, we're going to start with the directional light, and this is going to be the sun. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit, and I'm going to make a target direct that shines kind of on a 45 degree angle, sort of right from the corner of the room, right into the middle of the room. Now, if I look over on my right hand side, I want to turn on shadows for this because it's going to be the sun. And uh, under intensity color, I'm going to change the multiplier here to 1.5. And I'm going to change the color to a sort of a warm, orangey yellow. Um, well, maybe we'll go on the yellow side. There we go. That's pretty good. Warm, orangey yellow. So, not, it doesn't have to be too colorful, but just a little bit. Um, under directional parameters, change your hotspot to 0.5, and the fall off can be quite large, so it's got to be big enough that it sort of encompasses the whole room. Okay, now switch to a front view now. When you ma made this light, of course, you, you made it on the ground, so um, we're going to zoom up and move it so that it's uh, sort of shining down on an angle. Now, what angle you choose is kind of up to you. But I'm going to try this angle right here, sort of at a 45 degree angle down. <clears throat> Switch over to your camera view. All right, give it a render, see what happens. Okay, now you'll notice it's really, really dark, but um, we've got some uh, we've got some shadows happening. So perfect. That's our first step. Switch back to your top viewport again and zoom extends all. We're now going to make some target spotlights that are going to bring sort of the outside blue sky in. Um, I'd like you to make three lights, and they're all going to be identical. So once we set up one, then we can make the next one. So target spotlight, we're going to shine it sort of uh, into the first window here. Um, keep the shadows turned off. So intensity color. Um, multiplier is going to be 0.3. And the color is going to be sort of like a really, really soft baby blue. There we go. Okay, under spotlight parameters, you can change the hotspot to 0.5. And we're going to have the fall off something around the 50 to 60 range. Now, once you do the one light, you can make the second light. Okay, shining into these main windows. And then you can make the third light that shines down the hallway into the room. Now, that's pretty good. That's basically what we want. Um, again, these lights are all on the ground, so we've got to move them up. So you can just go through and select them. I'm just going to go to my Move tool and uh, hold down control and go around and grab all these parts. I could do this by um, my H key, so I could do a select. But once I've got everything selected, uh, I'll switch over to a front viewport and just move them all up so that the lights are actually sh shining into the windows. Great. Switch back to the camera with the C key and render it out. <clears throat> so all of a sudden we've got more light, right? These three lights are what's giving the room its basic illumination. Um, there's still some dark corners. The, the lights are a little bit harsh. Um, you can see some really black corners over on the left-hand side there, but this sort of gives us our main light. Um, it's not really warm enough yet. We don't really have much light bouncing around. It's almost like the light is only shining in on certain angles. Of course, we could use radiosity and set that up, and that's great, but um, I've got a slow computer and... Uh, uh, I'd rather just fake it because I find it really easy to fake it. So switch over to a left viewport for a minute and we'll fake it. And all we're going to do is um, move our room around so we can see a little bit better and zoom out a bit. I'm just going to make a couple of lights that shine down from the ceiling and sort of impart some white in the room. And then a couple of lights that shine up from the floor and give it a little bit of brown because I've made a brown floor. So target spot again. And sort of from the top I'm going to shine straight down. Okay, and I'm going to have to change some of these settings. And when I do that, I'm going to go to Intensity Color and change the multiplier to 0.2. Okay, to keep it really, really soft. And I'm going to, this is shining down from the ceiling, so I'm going to make it a pure white. Okay, um, under Spotlight Parameters, increase the fall off all the way up to 179.5. That's as big as it can go. 
Um, once I've done the one, I can just make another one right beside it. So we're sort of just blanketing the room in this really, really soft pale light. Perfect. Um, and then we want to do the same thing sort of from the bottom up. So I'm going to take a couple of uh, target spots and I'm going to go from the, from the floor all the way up to the ceiling. This time though, I'm going to change the color to a bit of a, a bit of a dull brown. And once I do that, I think that's pretty good. Again, I can make the next one a dull brown color and it shines up. Switch over to your top viewport and um, you'll see that the four lights are sitting right there. Okay, right where we made them. We've got one light coming in from each window or each light source. We've got our main sun coming on a 45. If you just hit the C key and you go back into the, ca into the camera view and give it a render, you're going to see that the room turns out reasonably well. You still have some shadows in the corners, which is kind of nice. Uh, it's not a solid uniform. Nothing is too bright. We could turn down some of these lights, in particular the, um, the, light, the three blue lights that are coming in from the walls. Uh, they could be turned down a little bit. Um, one last thing, if you go to rendering environment, you can change your background color. So right now mine is gray. Um, I might want to have a nice blue sky. And let's just find a nice blue color there. Pale enough, click OK to that. When I render that out, there's my last one there. I've got a nice blue window. Okay, that's it. Uh, very simple light setup using standard as opposed to photometric lights. Um, it's great to illuminate your room, but remember this doesn't necessarily illuminate the furniture inside the room. This is great for the room. You might still need a few um, individual light sources to cast those shadows under your furniture and to, to sort of make everything look realistic. Okay, thanks for watching.